for those who haven't been following me on Instagram or social media, to get, bring up the speed of where I'm at with things, my company is MDDP. Do I want to do repairs my whole entire life? I don't want that to be the focus, no. But right now, if it's going to make ends meet, then absolutely, I'll jump into the repair and installation side of things. Installation and uh, product manufacturing, coming out with new products to push the whole diesel industry forward, that's what I want to do long term. Now given pretty much I'm still working out of a house essentially, everything's in the driveway and obviously you saw all my tools are out here. This was my first big investment. I used to call it big, I got this used. So these things I think are like $2,300, $2,400 used. Got this off of Facebook Marketplace off a guy. I mean, the thing is literally pretty much brand new. Was, I mean, I took it apart, took all the drawers out, cleaned it and everything. $900, I wanna say I paid for this. You can find them all over Facebook Marketplace for around that price and a little above, a little below, depending on the condition of it. But this was a huge step in making the whole process a lot more efficient. So if you are, even in a shop, to be able to wheel your whole entire, like the, the main course of things you use all the time, super helpful, greatly, greatly increases how fast you can get things done. If you do wanna see a tour of this box, top to bottom, go ahead and drop in the comments. I'll just give a real brief, brief overview. Up top is gonna to be all sockets and everything. First drawer down is my hand tools and ratchets, things I kinda of use on a daily basis, and zip ties. Down here is gonna be more hand tools, so scrapers, uh, picked stuff like that, screwdrivers. Next down from that is gonna be all my wrenches, all my metric and red. Just a little bit of standard, working on most of the newer trucks, it's all gonna be metric for the most part. Down from that is this is like the heavy duty drawer, so pry bars, hammers, dead blow hammers. Down from there is the power drawer, so Milwaukee, as you can see, is my go-to for that. All kinds of ratchets, impacts, things like that. And then lastly, just kind of miscellaneous things, gloves, uh, multimeter there, torque wrench down here, a little more lighting. This is a snap-on scan tool. That was another huge investment, like worth about three of these, four of these carts. It was a snap-on modus. And then a nice little tool tray. On this side, we have a full Tekton order for $300. And on this side, we have a snap-on order for $300 as well. Now let's compare, these receipts are kind of different. The Tekton really stretches it out and snap-on is just one little line. So you can't really compare paper to paper. Let's compare tool to tool and I'll explain why I spent the money on this and why I took the cheaper route, but still very good tool route on this. As a full disclosure before we even start this, I have 0% loyalty to either one of these companies, Snap-on, Tekton, Sonex, anyone that I mention or any tool company in general, I have uh, zero connections to or anything like that. So we'll get that out of the way as a full disclosure before we start this. This is just 100% my opinion based off of my experiences so far. Two things I really wanted were oil filter, wrenches, pliers, whatever you wanna call them. Now, I didn't really see the point of it getting real expensive ones. How often do you use these things? And it's not like, you know, they have a huge job to do. They, they, they seat in, they clamp, and they're done. So I got the smaller set. These were $12 and I got the bigger set. These were $14. I haven't put a ton of use into them, but they have very nice aggressive teeth on them, on both of these. They aren't real sloppy and they, they move freely. So, I mean, for the simple job they're doing, uh, zero complaints on that. Working on heavier duty trucks, you start to get into the half inch stuff. And for that, all I had was chrome extensions. So I went and got some half inch impact extensions. These is the three piece set. So you have the three inch, six inch, and then lastly, the eight inch extension right there. I've used these so far, nothing bad to say about them. I have their three eights. I've had it for a while, the Tekton three eights impact extension, zero complaints on that. These right here, $16. As simple as these are, there's really not a whole lot to say about them. I mean, they fit well, it's a good, broad size here. The only thing I would change different is I would put a size between these two right here. It'd be nice to have an in-between. Nothing's worse than being in a real tight spot and you have a long wrench and all you can move is like one little click at a time. I know you've been there before. It's very frustrating. So I got the stubby metric ratcheting wrenches. This set was $75. It goes the whole way from eight millimeters, the whole way up into big 19 millimeter. I don't know when I'd ever be able to use a 19 millimeter stubby, maybe to snug something up. But this set for only $75 is gets you out of many, many pinches. These have a real nice chrome job on them, zero complaints about that. The one thing that is, it, it can be an advantage or disadvantage, so we'll take the 10 millimeter. Let's be honest, you use it all the time. These are six point. Usually, ratcheting wrenches are 12 points. Advantage is, when you put a bolt into here and you're trying to feed it into a tight spot to get it started, this does a very, very good job of staying hold of that fastener and it doesn't let it go. 
can also be bad if you're trying to get in a tight spot and you just want to get it on so you can start wrenching on it or loosening or whatever you're trying to do. Sometimes to get that six point to line up exactly can be a little more difficult. So it really has its plus and minuses. Uh, it's really more often to see it in a 12 point than it is to see it in a six point. These next items are probably gonna be pretty debated. Something Snap-on is obviously well, well known for is their ratcheting wrenches. It's from three, it's a quarter, half inch, whatever it is. And I would agree to that. They are very, very good wrenches. To a certain extent of starting out, I'm not saying I'm at the very, very beginning of anything, but starting out, maybe it doesn't make sense to get all Snap-on ratchets because for the price of one ratchet, I can get many, many ratchets as you're gonna see, which can get me out of different situations. Will I use Snap-on as my main two or three ratchets? Of course. But it's nice to have that variety of different ratchets. How many times have you had to use a cheater bar and you really didn't want to, but somehow you had to? Right here, the whole thing is built right in. This is a half inch drive. It has the push button on it right there. So it pretty much, you don't have to worry about sockets getting stuck on here too tight. Just drop it off. It's a very smooth 90 tooth. This big ratchet right here, $65. I also wanted a more manageable half inch drive. So that is where this thing came in. This is also a 90 tooth as well. Very smooth so far on this thing. I can't say anything bad about it. It's held up. I haven't put a ton of use into it, but it's not let me down once so far. Or Sometimes the teeth will bind up. Nothing has happened so far to this thing. $28 for this wrench right here. If you ask me, I, I think that is a lot. Of, uh, a lot of a ratchet for $28. Of course, the most common size you're gonna use is 3 8 So this is a 3 8 inch, 10 inch long ratchet. Now normally your ratchets would be about right here, so like a six inch. Uh, the, the extra two inches can be good and bad. I do kind of find myself going to my other, what would be a, a snap on my main use of ratchet. I do kind of find myself using it a little more often, but this is really nice to have. Sometimes that two inches is a really nice to be able to get that extra little torquing power on something. This wrench right here, 3 8 10 inch long, $22 for this thing. Your Snap-on 3 8 like this is gonna be about um, about 100, right around there, 90 to 120, depending what kind of grip and whatnot you go with. Lastly is this tiny little quarter inch drive. This thing is only three inches long and it's really nice because when you're in tight spots and this is all you can move, it's, it's the perfect size. It's super low profile as well, which makes it perfect for the very, very tight areas. This thing, I mean, if it can get you out of one little jam, I think it's worth it because this thing was only $15. These things as well, I should mention, have a lifetime warranty on them. So you break it, it's, I mean, you can tell they're going right after snap on. You break it, you put it in this, you send it in, you send a picture of it and you're good to go. Like I said, these are 90 tooth. If you can see or hear how fine the teeth are the whole way up to this half inch as well. And I believe this thing actually holds up to 400 foot pounds of uh, breakaway torque so you can pretty not going to say you should use it as a breaker bar but you absolutely could if you wanted to now to put this in comparison one snap on ratchet we'll say uh, a 3 8 just a little bit longer than this so a long long reach 3 8 with a flex on here that would be 120 i'd say all these ratchets right here $130 i think that's a lot of value for the tool right here and like i said if you break this they send it in now as I said earlier, my main 3 8 is probably going to be a snap-on. It's not going to be this right here just because you're using it all the, all the time. You know you're going to get your money's worth out of it. But it's a good plethora of different tools to try and work with just from 130. So we've all encountered that one stubborn bolt. It's usually going to be suspension stuff that's super tight. It's probably rusted on there if you're from the north. And for the life of you, you cannot get this thing off. you got cheater bars on top of breaker bars. So to put that breaker bar and everything in the one tool, this is a three quarter inch drive, 40 inch long breaker bar. Now this thing is absolutely massive. I mean, the, the shaft on this thing is super thick. Their theory on this is your normal uh, breaker bar is gonna have a head on the outside and then the actual socketing piece pivots in the middle. They say this is, should be twice as strong because you can actually have two pieces on the outside or just one on the inside. Here's a normal breaker bar to kind of explain what I was talking about, how this piece in the middle Normally these spread out over time this little guy in the middle ends up being real flimsy this they surround it the opposite way They have a huge allen head right here So as this thing it's a matter of time before this thing gets looser because you're putting a lot of force and torque right in here So that having a nice allen head right there You can crank that tight it goes the whole way through there to the other side and tighten this thing up and make it a little bit stiffer That's nice a lot of them like this just have pins and you know, at the end of the day, once it's wide, you can't really do much besides try and smash it together. And you can see the size of this shaft, like I was saying, it's about the diameter of my thumb. 
Here's comparing it to a regular half inch breaker bar. And down here is a really cool grip. You can kind of fit your hands into here, but 40 inches long, that, that thing is a monster and it will put some torque on whatever you're trying to get loose. All of this is $302 worth of Tecton tools. So now let's compare that to $300 and snap-on tools. Something you're really going to be using a lot is definitely gonna be hand tools. Things like pliers, cutters, dikes, uh, needle nose, things like that. So what I wanted to do is just buy them once, get USA made ones straight that I know that I'm not gonna have a problem with. This whole set right here was $154. It came with these three and then this is your, uh, they're called long reach duckbill pliers and they're the free that you get from this but I mean obviously it's all factored in this is a really really nice set obviously for $154 I'd hope they'd be to compare these cutters to another set to just kind of show off how beefy they are this is channel locks pliers here or cutters dikes whatever you want to call them and you can just tell the absolute mass of metal here granted sometimes this is nicer you can squeeze them into tighter places but this you can crank on anything you want to and is definitely going to cut through it these were like $20, $15, and obviously like this whole set I said was $154. Now the needle nose on here, also very very nice. This is their talon grip, they call it. So it kind of has uh, grips going both ways, their little cross hatch. And these, you can really get some serious clamping force with these things because of just how long they are and how large they are. And then the ones I thought I'd never really use are these ones right here. These are just like your regular pliers, slip joint in the middle there. These actually work really, really well for hose clamps when you're trying to get a clamp and then move it back on the hose. You can see the uh, very aggressive teeth on there which grip on, don't really want to let go of it. So these, I, I actually ended up started to use more than I thought it would. I originally, when I bought this kit, I was like, there's no way I'll ever use these, but they're coming in very handy. These guys right here, I might as well just call the fuse pullers. It is perfect for that because you can reach down and you can still see what you're doing from the top here. Grab that fuse, the width of these, is almost like the exact width of a fuse. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but you get down, grab onto it, and with this long reach, obviously you get a lot of leverage. You don't want to crack the fuse, but you can pull it out, and then you can also put them back in very easily. $154. Now something I've been through a lot of is screwdrivers, because it's always the Phillips head. You end up rounding off somehow, some way, because the tip isn't really that strong. Even the Craftsman ones that were made in the USA, I've gone through a set of those and even actually bent the ends of these the, the flatheads on the craftsman set so i just splurged and got the, the snap-on set maybe i was fanboying because i wanted the green to match the box i don't know but it was nice because it came in this case they're a little uh blow molded little plastic thing super cheap but it's nice because it fits right in the corner of the toolbox and then all the other be in the same spot every single time this set is 137 dollars you start down with this small flat and phillips head Believe it or not, I really like these grips. The way it's shaped like that, you can just tell from just putting it in your hand, you can really fit a lot of torque on it. I thought I would hate it. I was originally a fan of the fully round ones, but the more I use these, the more I realize you can really grip and twist with this thing. It's just the way they thought these things out. Like all these flats right here are perfectly in the middle of where it would rest. So these things never roll around. That's very nice too. Not only is this flat, that flat matches right up with it. So it's they're really well thought out. This one is probably the most common size here, just your regular Phillips. And then working the whole way up into the larger ones right here. It also has this hex shape onto it too. So you can actually fit a wrench on here. You can push down on it and wrench at the same time if you have a really, really stuck fastener. $137 for this set right here. So there you have it. This is $300 worth of Tecton tools and then $300 worth of snap-on tools. There's so many things to be debated at the end of the day. Most of this is made in Taiwan. That's not terrible, obviously not as good as USA made. China is the one you want to just pretty much completely steer away from. These ones are all made in the USA, backed by a great warranty. These are also backed by a great warranty. A lot of this tech and stuff, I can speak. I broke a 13 millimeter wrench. I put an impact on the back of it, of a nut. Long story short, I busted this wrench. 100% my fault. Sent them a picture of it. Uh, about a week later, new wrench showed right up. So I can speak, warranty side is good on this. I've also obviously did a snap-on guy, broke some stuff and sent it back to him. And he's warranted that, no problem. So warranty on both of these, can't complain about that. Uh, so far, really happy with both of these sets here. So really it comes down to what's gonna fit you the best. You know, some people just like to buy all snap-on stuff. It's like Gucci clothes, you know, whatever that you wanna get that's real fancy. 
maybe you just want it because when you pull your drawer out and you see all snap on sockets you're like yeah that's right you know maybe that's what you like and i'm not here to criticize for that that's you whatever brings you the joy it's your money you can pay for it or maybe you want to go to harbor freight and buy cheap tools and have to buy it three times i don't know the whole point of this video is to show that i'm a fan of tecton stuff because it's for the value i think it's very very good and then obviously i'm still going to get my snap on stuff you know you're still going to support the usa made goods and the stuff that you know is going to carry you through any situation and you know some tool brands are better for some things than others like i wasn't going to get tecton hand tools i just wasn't real impressed by the size of them they're made in taiwan just like the ratchets and wrenches and all that stuff but the actual grip and everything, I just really preferred a nicer brand. Like I said, something I'm gonna use every day. I wanna have a really nice tool for it, a nice quality tool. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I greatly, greatly appreciate your support. If you enjoy this kind of content here, going over tools, working on trucks, stuff like that, on my Instagram story, every single day, I make sure I have up a good piece of content. Some days I'll do tool reviews like this, and it's nice, because I get my phone, whip it out, take a huge story like this, done. You know, maybe like five or 10 snaps versus a YouTube video takes more time. That's why there's not as many of them. So if you do want to get more content like this, check out my Instagram at Mark underscore Decola. So guys, with that being said, thank you very much for watching the video. If you do me a huge favor, hit the big thumbs up button there. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you on the next video.